It's fine. We'll do a more balanced strategy, I guess. Unless we get Shatterwalk, then I'll probably just try that again. You can force comps uh, if it's like that. Uh, Rat King is definitely the best one, I think. I like Mana Storm, but I think Rat King is the best one here. So you can definitely uh, force if you stay on two star because there's just not that many units in this game compared to other auto chess games. You can't get units from higher tiers. So if you're two star, all of the units you ever see are one and two stars, meaning you're going to get a lot of pogo hoppers. And because you don't use your gold to tavern up, you use your gold to reroll more. We, we just got wrecked on luck. There's, there's really not much, much else to it. Wow. Beast opener with Alley Cat. Alley Cat is the second best starter. The best starter is Murloc Tidehunter. It's because the, the tokens sell for one. I'm not going to sell it now. But the tokens selling for one is a really big deal because um, you can't save gold. So the only way you can actually save gold is by getting more tokens. Have a good battle, friend. It's okay. We all hit some bumps now and then. Demon. I think I'm going to tavern up here. I still have a pretty good round one with two, three, and a one, one. Actually, it's really good. That loses to nothing. It only ties. So anyone that's still... Anyone that actually went to two, I can't lose to. I can only tie. So I can only tie this guy. Yeah, I can only tie. Tying is fine. You're doing great out there. How do you know if we get early access? Uh, you can... The one through drops, I'm not sure, but the other ones link virtual ticket to your account. I have no more locks. I should buy two units, though. So let's sell the token. And I think the best two units are probably... this one. There. So if you link your virtual ticket code with your account or whatever, you can get access that way. Uh, that's for BlizzCon virtual ticket. If you pre-order one of the packs, you get access right now, or you have to get drops. Those are, those are the three ways. It's possible to be a three-star tavern right now, which is what I think that guy did because his board sucked so much. It's pretty greedy to do that, I think. I'm going to try to get pretty strong first. So next round, I can tavern up for four because it goes down each round by one. And I can buy one of the things. So that'll be my, that'll be my seven gold. I think if you want to do well... Maybe it's not the winning strategy, but you're going to do well if you do this. If you want to do well, you want to try to populate your board first. That's the first thing you're trying to do. You got this. You're way ahead. The damage is calculated. The uh, star of the unit for each one damage plus your unit tier. So right now I'm tavern two, and let's see what's left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The math gets a bit tricky when there's so many high numbers and tokens and stuff. Okay, I got two amalgams. Uh, I'm going to buy both of them, I believe. Actually, no. I'm just going to freeze. Because the amalgam will be uh, discounted. Like, amalgam is everything. So it, does, it doesn't matter. I can, I can get it next turn just fine. So I froze a three-unit board. But next turn, I'll have five units. Because it's two plus the tavern tier. So it'll give me two units from the three star. So freezing with few units is fine. Way ahead. My hero power, it changes. So right now it gives beasts that I purchase, plus one, plus two. But it changes the types every single turn. Am I dumb? I think I should have gotten one more unit there. Oh well, whatever. So what I'm going to do... 
is sell two units and tavern up. You typically don't want to do this kind of stuff, but I'm really ahead on the board, so I can afford to be a bit greedy with what's left. My goal is to get a triple on four, if not, go to five as soon as possible. Let's see if you can stay on top. Okay, fine. So right now we're completely undefeated, but we went with a pretty mid-game strategy, and we did get relatively lucky with it, so... Okay, we're getting a triple here, which means we get to discover a five, which is outrageously good. Malganus, Scavenger, Baron Rivendare. There's some pretty good death rattles there, actually. I think I can try Rivendare. I haven't done a Rivendare strategy in some time. I should try to buy two units, but those are bad. That's what I would have picked. That's pretty good. I have to sell two for it, though. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Come close and listen. It's the max selling. Yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do that. Okay. I'm gonna start falling off a little bit if I don't go to five quickly. Pretty good. 15! I just killed him! <laughs> Alright. That was pretty cruel. Yeah. This is Tavern tier up. I actually kind of want to get rid of the Harvest Golem. I don't want it to take my mech buffs. Ooh, definitely freeze on that one. We're gonna get a six with that triple. I'm undefeated. This guy crushed the last round, so he's probably doing pretty well now. It'll probably be a little bit tough. Zero mana freeze is OP. I don't know about OP. I don't think it's like a game-breaking mechanic or anything. It's just pretty good. Let's see if you can Freezing is powerful, but you don't get a, a round of entirely new guys, so... Holy moly. He has an enforcer, so he's gonna he's gonna get really insane really quickly. I have to try to knock him out. Damn. Oh, okay. It's a lot of damage. That's what I would have picked. And listen. Mama Bear. I'm thinking Faux Reaper, though. An early Mama Bear is pretty crazy. I'm gonna go with Faux Reaper, though. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servos engaged. The Iron Sensei is, like, okay. They'll start buffing each other, though. I don't really want that. I, like where I will go for one of those, though. Baron? Nah. Uh, Baron falls off unless I get, like, Gas Coiler and stuff. Right now, people are getting knocked out too quickly for me to push for a 6 strategy. Super dead. Nice work out there. 
Keep up the pressure. I actually want a taunt. I don't really want to attack with that. I guess attacking with that is fine. A super cleave, boys. 1822 Divine Shield Cleave Death Rattle. We're up against second place, though. Everyone's it's funny, I've seen more pogos in this run, even though I tiered up. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Damn, never lucky. That was second place, by the way. Flawless game incoming. Your minions really pulled their weight. Ooh. Go big or go home, I always say. Let's put on that thing. My shield for Argon! The frozen wind guide me. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Lots of stats. We didn't get the stat buffer, but lots of stats regardless, I guess. I'm just buffing taunts. This is basically a whatever strategy. 2428 cleave, divine shield, taunt, death rattle. It'll do. It'll do. I agree, it'll do. 7-7 seven, seven in the back? Yeah. This is second place, by the way. Not, not all that close. Not anymore. Yeah. Or one v one with the guy that has a lot of buffs. I'm gonna try to get a poisonous. You doubt a minion and up a go. Better hire a recruit while you can. That'll do some damage. Alright. I might not win this round. But I'll win overall. So about that not winning this round, never mind. All right, there we go. We already have experienced a completely perfect game. 40 hit point finish, not even close. All right, I guess that's our first video clip for YouTube. Hi, YouTube. How you guys doing? Perfect game. Why is it giving me a recruit? There we go. That's how it's done. That's how it's done, boys.